the Lotos LTP5000D, the Prime Weld Cut 60, or the Hypertherm Powermax 30XP. Which one should you buy? Well, today, I'll be taking you through some of the top options on the market for plasma cutters, keeping in mind the user experience, performance, ease of use, and affordability. Whether you are a hobbyist or just starting with metal cutting, these machines will get the job done. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel for a free cookie and to support the effort I put into making these videos. Also, all the products mentioned in this video are linked in the description, so check them out for their latest prices and details. Now then, let's begin. At number 5, we have the Lotos LTP5000D. This machine is known for its affordability and reliability, making it an excellent choice for beginners. It runs on a dual voltage system of 110 and 220 volts, which gives it versatility for different power sources. The maximum cutting thickness is about 0.5 inches, and it uses non-touch pilot arc technology to cut through rough and painted surfaces without excessive slag. While testing this cutter, I found that it performed well on thin and medium gauge steel, producing clean cuts with minimal dross. However, when compared to the Prime Weld Cut 60, it lacks the same level of precision and power. The pros include a compact design, dual voltage capability, and non-touch pilot arc. The cons are that it has a shorter duty cycle and is not ideal for thick metals. Overall, if you are looking for an affordable and easy-to-use plasma cutter, this is a solid choice. One thing that stands out about the Lotos LTP5000D is how beginner-friendly it is. Even if you have never used a plasma cutter before, the controls are straightforward and the instructions are clear. Setting it up takes just a few minutes, and the non-touch pilot arc makes cutting through rusted or painted surfaces much easier than traditional methods. The compact size also makes it a great choice for home workshops or garages with limited space. That said, if you need a cutter that can handle professional grade jobs, you might want to look at one of the more powerful options on this list. At number 4, we have the Prime Weld Cut 60. This is a more powerful unit that operates on a 60 amp output, allowing it to cut through metal up to 0.75 inches thick. It also supports both 110 and 220 volts, making it adaptable to various workshop settings. While testing this machine, I was impressed by its smooth and precise cuts, especially on stainless steel and aluminum. The arc was consistent and the duty cycle allowed for extended use without overheating. Compared to the Hypertherm Powermax 30XP, the Cut 60 offers better value with more power at a lower price. The pros are high power output, excellent cut quality, and dual voltage support. The cons are that it is slightly bulkier and has a higher learning curve for complete beginners. If you want a professional grade machine that does not break the bank, this is a great option. One aspect that makes the Prime Weld Cut 60 stand out is its durability. This cutter feels sturdy and the components are high quality, making it a machine that can last for years if maintained properly. The torch is comfortable to hold, which makes a big difference when working on long projects. While beginners might find the settings a bit overwhelming at first, with a little practice, this cutter can deliver excellent results. If you're serious about plasma cutting, the Cut 60 is a fantastic investment. At number 3, we have the Hypertherm Powermax 30XP. This plasma cutter is known for its superior quality and precision. It has a 30 amp output and is designed for portability, weighing only 21 pounds. It operates on both 110 and 240 volts and comes with a durable carrying case. Testing this unit was a pleasure, as it delivered extremely clean cuts with little to no dross. The torch is ergonomic, and the consumables last longer compared to other cutters. When comparing it to the Lotos LTP8000, the Powermax 30XP is more portable but lacks the same cutting power. The pros include high build quality, lightweight design, and long-lasting consumables. The cons are a higher price and lower power output. If you prioritize precision and ease of use, this is a fantastic choice. Another reason to consider the Powermax 30XP is its efficiency. Even though it does not have the highest power output on this list, it makes up for it with incredible cut quality. 
The edges are smooth, requiring minimal cleanup, which can save a lot of time in the long run. Additionally, the lightweight design makes it easy to transport, making it ideal for contractors or anyone who needs a portable cutting solution. While it may not be the most budget-friendly option, the quality speaks for itself. At number two, we have the Lados LTP 8000. This is a heavy-duty plasma cutter that delivers an impressive 80 amp output, making it one of the most powerful units on this list. It is designed to cut through thick metals with ease, handling up to 1.5 inch cuts effortlessly. During my tests, this machine handled everything I threw at it, from thick steel to rusted metal. The Pilot Arc technology worked flawlessly, and the duty cycle was excellent. When comparing it to the Yes Welder MP200, the LTP8000 is far superior in cutting power, but is less versatile since it is only a plasma cutter. The pros include high cutting capacity, reliable performance, and non-touch pilot arc. The cons are that it is heavy and consumes more power. If you need a powerful plasma cutter for heavy-duty tasks, this is a beast. The Lados LTP8000 is not just powerful but also incredibly efficient. The high power output means you can cut through thicker materials much faster than lower-powered models. However, it does require a stable power source to operate at its best. If you plan on using it frequently, investing in a high-quality power supply and air compressor will help you get the most out of this machine. If cutting speed and power are your top priorities, the LTP8000 is an excellent choice. At number one, we have the Yes Welder MP200. This is more than just a plasma cutter. It is a multi-process machine that also functions as a welder. With a 50 amp plasma cutting capability, it can handle metal up to 0.75 inches thick. It supports MIG, TIG, and stick welding, making it incredibly versatile for metalworking. Testing this unit, I found that the plasma cutting function worked exceptionally well, providing smooth and consistent cuts. However, when compared to the ESAB Thermal Dynamics, Cutmaster 40, the MP200 is less powerful but offers more functionality. The pros include multi-process capability, great build quality, and smooth cutting performance. The cons are that it is more expensive and slightly complex for beginners. If you want an all-in-one machine for welding and cutting, this is the best choice. An honorable mention I've suggest for everyone is the ESAB Thermal Dynamics Cut Master 40. This plasma cutter is designed for high-performance cutting with a compact and portable design. It features a duty cycle of 40% at 40 amps, allowing for longer cuts. The machine uses a start-stop technology, making it more efficient and precise. When testing the Cutmaster 40, it cut through steel effortlessly and had a smooth arc. Compared to the Hypertherm Powermax 30XP, it offers similar precision but at a more affordable price. The pros include high performance, precise cuts, and compact design. The cons include pricey and requires proper air setup. If you need a high quality plasma cutter with precision and efficiency, the ESAB Thermal Dynamics. Cutmaster 40 is a top tier option. That wraps up our list of the best plasma cutters for beginners. Each of these machines offers something unique, whether it is affordability, power, precision, or versatility. My favorite to use from this list was definitely the Prime Weld Cut 60 because of its speed and durability. If you found this review helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more in-depth product reviews. All the links to these plasma cutters are in the description. Let me know in the comments which one you are considering or if you have experience with any of them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.